There's nothing like the first time you see a black and white slide. It's amazing when you realize that it's projected up there on the wall for you and everyone around you to see using nothing but a light bulb and a piece of film. There's no electronics involved, there's no computers. Then you start to take in the image and the rich dark blacks, the amazing contrasts. It's really just a thing of beauty. Hey everybody. Um, today we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to do some black and white slide reversal uh, using just chemistry that you can get from your local grocery store and your regular black and white chemistry. So before we get started, I'm going to give you a couple of things that you're going to need to get for this to work. First off, obviously, you're going to need to know how to develop black and white film. I'm not going to go super in-depth on how to do that. I'm just going to concentrate on the reversal part of it because there's lots of tutorials out there on how to do black and white film. And if you're not comfortable with developing black and white film, you probably shouldn't be jumping to a reversal right away anyway. Anyway, what you're going to need is just regular black and white developer. I'm going to be using HC110 for this tutorial, but there's other developers you can use as well. I've also done it with Ilford Paper Developer and with Kodak Paper Developer because what we're going to have to do for the first step is develop a really dense negative. But before I dive too far into that, the other step you're going to need is regular old drugstore hydrogen peroxide. Now, when I've taught other people how to do this, sometimes they have found different variations in uh, dilution. This is a 3% hydrogen peroxide, and that's what I usually use. You're also going to need white vinegar, just regular old cooking vinegar. So I have taken a roll of JCH Street Pan 400 and I've shot it at box speed in a Olympus Pen F half frame camera. And I've already loaded it up in my development tank. So we're gonna get started with this process and I'm gonna show you how this all works. So I'm gonna be using HC110 Dilution B and my development tank takes 250 milliliters of solution. So I have 250 milliliters of water and eight milliliters of HC110, which is gonna give me dilution B. So we're gonna run this for 12 minutes, and that's a lot longer than you would normally run black and white film, because what we're trying for is a really, really dense negative. This negative is going to be the mask for our reversal process a little later on. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my film and we're gonna run it for 12 minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we're back from our first step, the developer. The next thing we're gonna do is mix our bleach, and this is where the hydrogen peroxide comes in. So what you wanna do, take your hydrogen peroxide and you're going to want to get however much for your tank. Uh, for mine it's 250 milliliters. So we're going to do 250 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And then to the 250 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide we're going to add 15 milliliters of the white vinegar. Now in this process the vinegar is acting as an accelerator well, the hydrogen peroxide is a reoxygenating bleach, so it's going to remove all the developed silver that you just developed in the first step. So it's important that you run this process hot. So we're gonna do between 100 Fahrenheit and 105 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna run this for six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heat that up and we're gonna run it for six minutes and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, the bleach process just finished, and this is where the process is going to get a little crazy. We're going to do something that you're kind of told never to do in film. We're going to open up the tank in the middle of the process. So at this point, we've bleached away all the developed silver. And what we're doing is exposing the silver that's left on the spool back to light so that we can develop again. So when you pull it off the spool, you should see something a little bit interesting. You should see, instead of nice developed negatives, you should see that you have very, very transparent, almost positives. What you have there is the silver that hasn't been developed yet. And what we're gonna do is develop that into a really cool positive. But what you have to first do is make sure that it's really well exposed to light. So what we're gonna do is since I have a nice video light right here, we're just gonna wave it in front of the video light. Normally I would wave it in front of an overhead light. Um, you don't need to worry about how much you do. Pretty much once you take it out of the tank, it's usually pretty well exposed, but I like to go just a couple of seconds in front of the light on both sides, just to make sure that everything's good. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it back on the spools. And 
Now while I'm respooling this, I'll mention with the bleach solution, once you mix it up, it likes to off gas a little bit. So make sure that you have a little extra room in your container when you pour it back in. It is reusable uh, because if you don't, the container will expand and it can pop and make a big mess. So don't ask how I know that one. Anyway, I saved my HC110 from my first developer and I'm just going to reuse it again. But this time I'm going to go for about six minutes. So still a little bit longer than you tend to go for black and white processing. But what I want to do is make sure I get all of that silver developed. Uh, you can usually just go for your regular time and that's usually fine. Uh, but in this case, a little more just doesn't hurt. So anyway, we're going to go for six more minutes with the HC110 and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, our six minute dev is done. And now I'm gonna fix it. We're just gonna use Ilford Rapid Fix, but you can use whatever fixer you normally use for black and white film, it's all the same. I am gonna mention one thing that you uh, eagle-eyed black and white developers may have noticed, that while I'm using JCA Street Pan, I have not mentioned times for other films. That's because they're all the same. This is like C41 process, where you can process any of your films basically using this exact same process, and it'll turn out basically the same. It's really nice and convenient if you want to do multiple rolls at the same time, so there's something for you to think about. Anyway, I'm going to go do my fix process, and then I'll show you what our final result is. Okay, we're out of the fixer, and we've done a final wash, so it's time to pull open the container one more time and see what we got. There you go. We got some beautiful black and white slides in a really cool half frame format. Um, you've already seen some of these in the intro to this video, but I'll show you a couple more here and I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. This is a little bit of a weird process, so I understand that it might take some uh, getting used to and have some, you guys might have some questions. Anyway, I'm happy to help. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.